practical tutorial number 20 high voltages and currents lucky last number 20 high voltages and currents probably one of the easiest competencies on the on the sheet let's have a read high voltages and currents oral questions and responses from the candidate to ascertain that the candidate is aware of the dangers of high voltage electric shock and current heat and burning and possibly fire performance criteria candidate de demonstrates an awareness of the dangers of high voltages and currents that's all there is to it um, electrocution of course is death by electricity I'm trying to get myself a cursor here uh, so electric shot is, electric shot shock is not electrocution electrocution is when you get an electric shock and you die so the dangers of high voltages are electric shock which could damage the body and even cause death which is called electro electrocution uh, high currents on the other hand uh, may not give you an electric shock, may not give you a shock at all, but high currents, I should put voltages there, so high voltages can give you an electric shock and potentially even cause a fatality, a death by, elect by electricity. Uh, high currents won't necessarily shock you at all. Um, it could be a low voltage source such as a car battery. High currents are dangerous because they cause, uh, can cause a lot of heat and burning and could even light a fire. That's it. Don't go any further with that one because that's all they're really expecting you to do. And that's it for the 20 competencies for the amateur radio practical assessment. Do try the drill software that, that comes with these tutorials and make sure you're ready and good luck with your practical assessment. Cheers for now. This is Ron VK2DQ.